All right, let's pray real quick and let's get started. Father, we thank you this morning for just, that your love is here and your presence is here. And so we ask you right now that as we have opened up our hearts to you to receive the gift that you have. And that we have been giving to you in our praise and worship. We pray that there would be a connection between heaven and us. And that we would catch something that you want us to hear. Would you come and transform our lives today? In Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Turn with me to John chapter 15. But before we do that, uh, our year's theme is My Family Matters. And so just as we need to give positive affirmation to others, but we need to also give pos positive affirmation to ourselves. Yes, amen. amen. So can you amen. say with me and declare with me, say, My Family Matters. Come on, I can't hear you. Say it one more time. My Family Matters. One more time. Come on, one more time. My family matters. Amen. Come on, do you believe that? If you don't, say it till you do. Amen. Yeah, keep saying it till you believe it. Amen. All right, let's, let's look in John chapter 15. Go to verse 12 with me. All right, this scripture says, this is my commandment, Jesus says, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask in the Father in my name, he may give you. In verse 17, it says, These things I command you, that you, read with me, love one another. Amen? Own, right? You read in Chinese or you read in English, it's all right. Okay. 2020. I remember last week, Pastor Andrew shared, he said, 2020, it means what? It means perfect vision. Right? And I don't know how many of us in here have 2020 vision. Uh, but what is 2020 vision in life? How do you have 2020 vision in life? Well, I had this revelation as Pastor was sharing about 2020 vision last week. All of a sudden, God said to me, in life, 2020 vision starts with the family. In other words, what I'm saying is, every single one of us wakes up in the morning. And we're about to go and start life. We're about to go out there and do what we have to go and do. But before we get out there and start to have influence in this world, the one thing that's influencing us is what's at home. Amen. Amen. And so whether your family is you have a husband or a wife or your spouse or you have children or maybe you're single. Whatever that dynamic is at home, in your home, whatever you feel, whatever is going on in that home, that culture that's happening in your home, is what you're going to carry out into this world. Right, so if you just got in a fight with somebody at home, guess what? You're going to go out into this world, you're going to go out into your job, and you're going to carry that fight with you. 
如果你在家里刚刚跟人吵完架，你出去上班的时候，你可能将这样一种吵架的心情也带到你的职。If you were feeling lonely at home, you're going to carry that out into your 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 life with you. If you were feeling upset at, at, at frustrated at your kids or disappointed with your kids, you're going to carry that out with you. 如果你在家里感到孤单，或者你，呃，你你对你的孩子感到失望，你也同样会将这样的心情带到出呃出门的时候。Does that make sense? Right? 合理吗？ I mean, you may not admit it, but can I just say it's it's happening to you? It's the truth. Right? I mean, just a couple weeks ago, my wife and I we got in an argument. 几个礼拜以前，我和我的太太吵架了。And everything that I did from that argument and on was 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 affected by that argument. 从那个时候，我做的每一件事情都受到那个吵架心情的影响。Praise God! I took the time to sit down with my wife. We reconciled. We loved each other. We made up. Oh, make up is so good. 感谢主，我们找到时间能够坐下来彼此彼此和解，我们又和好如初了。But how many of you guys know that for some reason, for some reason, the biggest secret in the family is I love you. 你们有没有人知道，其实家庭最大的秘密就是我爱你。Right? Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know why. I don't know what what is what is the cause of it in all of us in our families. But I love you has become a secret. 我不知道是什么原因，我爱你居然成了一个秘密。Just like Pastor Andrew was saying earlier, you know, like, yeah, we 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 you know that I love you, and I I know that you love me, but I'm not gonna say it. 就好像陈牧师之前说的，你知道我爱你，我也知道。I don't know why I keep it a secret, but I just feel like I have to make it a secret. I don't want to tell. I can't. I can't. I can't be vulnerable. I can't. I can't let it let it come out. 我不知道为什么，我就是没有办法把它表达出来。Right, and so you know, this is such a big effect in our world today. Yes, amen. 这样的事情对我们的世呃世界有非常大的影响。It's not just Chinese culture. 不光只是在中国人的文化里面。Every culture. Every family. We struggle with this fact that I love you has become a secret. We are struggling with this fact that I love you has become a secret. We are struggling with this fact that I love you has become a secret. We are struggling with this fact that I love you has become a secret. We are struggling with this fact that I love you has become a secret. We are struggling with this fact that I love you has become a secret. So. Why are we talking about family? Let me let me just say real quick. Last week, Pastor Andrew talked about the seven mountains, right? The seven mountains of influence in our world today. We why why we talk about family? Last week, Pastor Andrew talked about the seven mountains of influence in our world today. And one of those mountains of influence is the family. 其中有一座山头就是家庭。And the fact that we're keeping "I love you" a secret is affecting our ability to be influential. 所以影，所以就说，呃，导致我们影响力减弱的，恰恰是因为我们把我爱你当成了一个秘密。Amen. Amen. So I want I want to show you some things, but you know, before we go on, I really want to reinforce, you know, that the root of our life, the the vision, the 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 start of our life that allows us to have clarity, to have a vision that is 2020, that is perfect, comes from this root that is family. 我再次想强调的就是，我们这样子这个完美的势力是起源于根源于家庭。This year,、um, one of the one of the mottos that I'm carrying in my life that I'm waking up each day trying to remind myself of is that a leader's authority and anointing must flow from the way they lead their family first. 所以在那个今年，我希望给我自己的一个鼓励，就是要成为这样一个领袖，要带领别人之前，首先要能够带领自己的家庭。So no matter what kind of leadership you're in, whether that's in a workplace or amongst your friends or amongst your family or whatever, every one of us are leading somebody. And so the truth is, we lead people by the way that we lead, first lead our family. 所以，如果你成为一个领袖，不论你是在职场的，还是你在家庭、在你的朋友当中的，只要你有带领他人，你都要知道，在带领他人之之前，你所带领的方式，其实就是你如何带领你的家庭的方式。So, so our family, oh, that was awesome, Mary.、Uh, so that, so that means our families are very, very seriously affecting us in our lives and in our, in our ability to be a part of this world and this society, right? 所以我们的家庭很。很大程度上影响着我们如何跟这个社会或者是进呃其他进行交往的方式。How many years seen this movie? 你们多少人看过这部电影 ？How many years seen this movie? 有没有人看过这部电影？洛基永远的拳王史泰龙主演的。Right? How many years seen Rocky? 
有没有人看过《洛基》？ Yeah. Yeah. Such a good movie, right? Now, how many guys remember this this movie, right? This movie, he's about to go and fight one of the hardest opponents, his great rival. Uh-huh. Um, in this movie, the Loki King is going to fight with him, the most difficult opponent, to fight the battle. And as he's going to fight, before he goes to the fight, he, him, and his wife Adrian get in a fight. Right, his wife says, "I don't want you to fight anymore. Why can't you just quit?" His wife says, "You can't just quit. Why can't you just quit?" His wife says, "You can't just quit. Why can't you just quit?" His wife says, "You can't just quit. Why can't you just quit?" His wife says, "You can't just quit. Why can't you just quit?" His wife says, "You can't just quit. Why can't you just quit?" Right, and, and and then they get in this fight, and what happens? He has to go to this fight with his greatest opponent without the support of his wife. Yeah, he and because he and his wife had a fight, so he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he went to this fight without his wife's support, he went to this fight without his wife's support. Before he I think his wife Adrian. I forget whether she was watching TV or listening to radio, but all of a sudden she was like, "I can't stand this anymore." 突然之间，他的妻子可能是在呃看电视或者是在收听广播，他就站起来说：“我再也不能忍受了。”She said, "I have to support my husband, no matter what." 我一定要坚持的支持我的妻呃丈夫，不论怎么样。And so what does she do? She comes out and she comes to support him. And we start to see all of a sudden Rocky gains a new strength. We 突然就看到洛基有了新的力量。He starts to fight and he starts to beat up this other guy. 他就开始起来，不断的出出拳，打败他的呃对手。And then he boom, and the guy knock gets knocked out, right? 然后他重重一击将对手击倒在地。And Rocky wins. 洛基胜利了。And we are all like, yes. We are like, yes. And then what? Then the interviewers come up to Rocky and they're like, Rocky, how did you win this fight? How were you feeling? Then the interviewers come up to Rocky and they're like, Rocky, how did you win this fight? How were you feeling? Then the interviewers come up to Rocky and they're like, Rocky, how did you win this fight? How were you feeling? Then the interviewers come up to Rocky and they're like, Rocky, how did you win this fight? How were you feeling? Then the interviewers come up to Rocky and they're like, Rocky, how did you win this fight? Right. Adrian, Adrian. Have you guys seen that movie? How many people have seen this movie? Yeah, he starts to cry out for his wife. He starts to cry out for his wife. Come on, is that not how our families are like? Is that not how our families are like? Amen. I have a wonderful wife. I love her so much. The other day, she asked me, she said, Why do you love me? 有一天，他问我：“你为什么爱我？” I was like, "Oh my goodness, that's a really hard question." <laughs> 我说：“哦、oh, ，我的天哪，好难的问题啊。<laughs> ”So I, I, I didn't respond right away. I took a minute to think. <laughs> 我没有马上回答他，我想了想。But this is what I told her. I said, "You, you, you, you're the best for me." 但是接下来我这么告诉他：“ you're、perfect for me. 你对我来说是最合适的，你是我最棒的另一半。” Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know there's nobody else that can support me like my wife does. Because I know <laughs> I mean, seriously, like this is not—I'm not joking. Like that in itself, that support seriously gives me the courage and confidence to go do whatever I need to do. Yeah, 我必须要说，我老婆的这样一种支持，真的，我给给了我很大的勇气以及鼓励，做我要做的事情。I've seen some scary women. 我看过很多让人很害怕的女生。Right, we're like. The husband is like, "Hey, you know, I want to tell you something." And then the wife is on the side, like, "What are you talking about? You're lying. You're gonna do it." I've seen a wife who would say to her husband, "Ah, I want to tell you something. What happened? I want to do this thing." And her husband would say, "What are you talking about? You're lying. You're gonna do it." 
and vice versa too. Okay, men do that to women too. Yeah, 当然我也有也也有见过夫妻之间是反过来这样说的。When we don't have the support, <laughs> we heard a yell. Over there. <laughs> when, when we don't have the support of our family, when we don't have that love in our family, the love that's perfect that casts out fear. That. Love, that love is what gives us the fuel, the courage, the confidence to be who we need to be. Amen. 这样的一种爱就给我们这样一个动力，给我们这样的支持与鼓励，去做我们要做的事情。And that gives us the ability to go be influential. Amen. 让我们成为一个有影响力的人。So, even for single people. 就算是对单身的也是这样。I'm looking on the wrong side. Single people. 单身的人。You know, when you're single, you might wonder who's my family. I don't have a wife, I don't have kids. But your family is those who support you. Right? And so, who is supporting you? And who are you supporting? And who are you in support for? Is there somebody, and even for us, all of us that are married, and not everybody, who who in our lives is is needs our support? Because the Bible said, no greater love than this that someone that would lay down his life for his friends. Right, but but friends, it can also be your family members. My wife is my best friend. My daughters are my best friends. Right? And so, who are we supporting? And I want, you, I want you to think about this for a second. Think about what I'm about to say. Has there been a moment in your life, where someone invited you to a secret "I love you" or "I need you" moment. Maybe somebody invited you and said, "I need your love," but not in that in those words. Right? Maybe a friend said to you, "Hey, what are you doing this Saturday?" Yeah, I've got nothing going on. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out. Oh, or maybe your wife was the one that said that. And were you maybe not aware because yeah, it was a secret. They didn't say it blatantly right out, but but you were also not aware of how much they needed you. And so maybe we got busy. Maybe we overlooked it. You know, and we thought, ah, you know, I'm busy. I got my own things. We'll meet up another time. How many guys know some of those moments? If we're not discerning what God is actually trying to call us to do, it may be a very crucial moment in someone's life. I mean, how many times have we heard of suicidal stories where somebody reached out right before they went and did what they they did? We've heard, 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 So you know, our families have a certain amount of authority that impacts our lives, right? Our family has enough authority to impact our lives. Whether that's subconscious to you or conscious to you. Whether you realize it or not realize it. And if you tell me, no, my family doesn't affect me, then I believe that you're 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 naive. If someone tells me, ah, my family doesn't affect me, then I believe that you're naive. Right? 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 So who is influencing you? 
所以是什么在影响着你 ？Who is influencing you so that you can be a great influence in this world？ 谁在影响着你，以至于你可以成为在这个世界上有影响力的人 ？Now I want to talk a little bit about what is the family。我想来讨论一下什么是家庭。Because before we can know why we need to have this family influence in this world and, and you know take on the seven mountain you know mountain of family, we need to know what is family. 在我们要知道这个七座山当中，这个家庭有怎样的影响力之前，我们需要知道什么是家庭。Did you know that the government of the kingdom of heaven is the family? Yes. 有没有人知道神国的这样一个治理的基础就是家庭 ？Think about it. In a kingdom, what requires what's required to make up a kingdom? 想一想，一个国度的组成，一个国家的组成。You have, you must have a king, yeah. 你需要有个国王。All right, and then you must have a population, people. 你也需要有人民。Right, but other than that, there's one more entity, and that other entity is something that is governing this kingdom. 你还需要另外一个，就是一个治理的元素。There's a structure, there's a skeleton, a system that brings the king and the people together. 是一个结构，是一个组织，让这个国王和人民能够连接起来。And so I believe that the governing factor of the kingdom of heaven is family. 我相信神国的治理要素就是家庭。Amen. Let me let me explain to you why. If you look at the Trinity, 让我来给你解释一下。我们看一下三位一体的神。The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. 圣父、圣子、圣灵。Is that not family? 是不是一个家庭呢 ？Right. Father, Son, right. 父子。They are telling us. They are trying to convey to us that family is what governs them. How about from the beginning of the Bible when God called people like Abraham and Noah and you know all these leaders, these heroes of the Bible, He called them by families. 就像在圣经起初的时候记述到亚伯拉罕、以撒、雅各，神是呼召着一个家庭。How many of you ever read the Bible and got to the genealogies, a bunch of names, 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 names? 有没有人读圣经读到家谱有这个名字那个名字好多的名字 ？And you're like, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. 你说啊，这页我不打算读了。<laughs> But why? Why did God put those genealogies in the Bible? Because it's important to God. Because it tells us of the families that led to where we are. Do you see? Do you, are you starting to see what I'm seeing? Look at Moses, the story of Moses when he led the Israelites out of the Egypt. And then Moses had a problem. He couldn't lead this many people. Moses 没有办法带领这么多人，这是他的问题所在。So he asked God, "Give me wisdom. How can I how can I set up a system, a structure, a government for all these people?" 所以他求神给他智慧，怎样能够建立一个制度来进行带领 ？What did God tell Moses to do? 神告诉他做什么呢 ？He told him split them up by tribes according to their family. 神告诉他将支派按宗族进行划分。Right, tribes of the family that became leaders in the government of God's people. 于是这些那个支派的这个领袖就成为了他们这个管理体制当中的组成部分。How about in the New Testament, Jesus, when Jesus comes and he leads his disciples, he didn't just come and teach principles and teachings and sermons. 我们看一下，在新约里面，主耶稣如何带领他的门徒，他不仅仅是对他的门徒进行讲道。What did he do? He spent time with them. He led them through a family culture. 呃，主耶稣做的呢是花时间跟他们在一起，用家庭的文化来带领他们。Right, he, he, they, they had this fellowship together that was so intimate. They would eat breakfast together. They would hang out together. 他们有这样一个很亲密的这样一个团契的关系在里面。他们一起吃早饭，他们一起。Oh, I forgot to put a picture. I was going to put a picture of the the Last Supper. How many guys remember the picture of the Last Supper that that was painted? 我本来想呃放一幅画在这里，就是那幅著名的最后的晚餐。Right, and what did that look like? 这幅画长得像什么样呢 ？That looked like a family getting together for a Christmas meal. <laughs> 就像一家人在一起吃圣诞大餐一样。Right, remember, there's that one dude that looks like the crazy uncle. <laughs> 就是其其中有一个人长得很像一个呃比比较呃疯狂一点的叔叔。<laughs> Then we see in, the disciples in Acts. When they built the first church, when they erected the first church, if you look in Acts chapter two, it says that they built this church on the foundation of this word called koinonia. 
。如果大家读《使徒行传》的话，就会看到初代教会是建立在团契的这样一个基础上的。Uh, say koinonia with me. Koinonia 就是团契的意思。Koinonia is the Greek word for community. 呃、uh, ，koinonia 就是希腊语当中一社区的意思。But not just any sort of community. Uh, not just any regular old fellowship that we know of. They were intimate. They were close. They were like family. They 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 were so close. There was another word called debak. They would they had debak with one another. They were so close. There was Actually, is a word that describes the love between a husband and wife. Oh, debug 这个词其实是形容夫妻之间爱的这样一种关系。An intimacy, and it was also used to describe the love between God and us as sons and daughters. 也是形容神和人的一种关系，一种很亲密的关系。And so it's very interesting if you look. I did a study. I did a study, a biblical study on the word hospitality in in the in the Old Testament or the New Testament. <coughs> oh, 我曾经进行过一项关于新约当中的 hospitality 的这样一个研究，呃，款待的一个研究。And um and what I found was that their hospitality was on a greater level than anybody had ever seen before. 我发现他们款待的程度，这种热情的程度是，呃，前所未见的。Because if you look into that scripture, it says that there was no rich and there was no poor. 因为如果你读圣经，你会发觉当时是没有贫富差异的。Because they shared in all things. 因为他们凡事均分。That even when somebody didn't have a home. They would open their homes to the person that did not have a home and welcome them in, just like family. 那有家的人会打开自己的家庭，邀请那个没有家人进到自己的家庭，像家人一样的接待他。And so it was this hospitality that that became the ancient Christians' distinction from pagan worshippers. 这样的一种款待就成为了初代教会的那些使徒和他周围那些异教徒之间的差异。Because of the way they lived in Koinonia, because they lived in this intimate family relationship. Amen. Amen. Say Koinonia. Say Koinonia. Say Koinonia. Now, Pastor Andrew last week shared something that really struck my heart. Last week, Pastor Andrew shared something that really struck my heart. Last week, Pastor Andrew shared something that really struck my heart. Last week, Pastor Andrew shared something that really struck my heart. And he talked about what what are you building your family on a rock or on sand or, you know. He talked about you how to build your family on a rock or on sand or, you know. And Pastor Andrew said that the foundations of family has been compromised. Pastor Andrew said that the foundations of family have been compromised. That today in our world, the darkness, the the evil, the brokenness that we're seeing, we're seeing families being compromised. And I remember I was sitting there. I was actually not paying attention. Well, I was paying attention, but in that moment, I was not paying attention. Okay. In he said this word, I was not paying attention. Because I had turned back to say hello to a friend. Because I turned back to say hello to a friend. And then Pastor Andrew knocked over the chair. 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 And I turned around. I was like, "Whoa, what happened? What's going on?" I just, 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 I 因为人们看到家庭这么多的破碎，所以他们开始放弃家庭的这样一种价值观。And I believe that we are seeing that. I believe we are seeing that darkness. We are seeing that brokenness. 我相信我们大家都看到这样一种黑暗以及这样一种破碎。But in the midst of that darkness, I have great hope. 但是在一片漆黑当中，我们有盼望。I have good news. 我有好消息给你。Because can I say something? 我可不可以告诉你？ I am seeing a wave of God's influence changing society today, back to family values. I 看到上帝在我们的啊这个社会里面开始动工，将我们带回到家庭观念正确的位置。Two thousand fifteen, I saw this movie. 
，两千一五年这部电影上映。Anybody seen this movie？ 有没有人见过这部电影？叫做《末日崩塌》。If you've seen this movie, you know. In this movie,、uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock,、um, is has a has a family, but they're divorced. He's divorced with the wife. 如果你们看过这看过这部电影，就知道这个男主角他是一个离过婚的单亲父亲。And they have a daughter. 他们有一个女儿。But even though they were divorced, the 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 Rock, the, the Dwayne Johnson, he did not lose hope for his family. 虽然他和妻子离婚了，但是这个男主角并没有放弃希望。He still treated his wife. Like he loved her, and and he treated her with honor, and he treated her in such a way that he believed that he was going to win her back. He still is very kind, respecting his wife, and he loves her. He hopes that he will win her back. And I had never seen this type of illustration before in our Hollywood movies. In the old Hollywood movies, I have never seen such a scene. I don't know about you, but I love watching movies. I don't know about you. 我是个电影狂。And so I, I believe God speaks to me sometimes when I'm watching movies. 所以我相信有的时候看电影的时候，神在对我说话。Praise God.、Uh, so, so when I was watching this and I saw them, the, the, the movie industry, the film industry start to depict this type of relationship. 当我看到这部电影的时候，我发觉我们的那个电影行业开始描述这样的一种关系的时候。All of a sudden, God told me, "Watch, there's going to be a shift." Hollywood is going to start to teach society what family is. Hollywood 要开始教导这个社会家庭是什么样的。And so I got excited. I was like, "Whoa, that's awesome!" 我开始变得很兴奋，这太棒了。Because I've seen so many movies of the same type of family dynamic, divorced family, and they just hate each other in the movies. 因为我我看过太多的好莱坞电影，讲到家庭的时候，他们只是彼此仇恨。But Hollywood is starting to depict something new. But、oh, yeah. Hollywood is starting to depict something new. That there is hope. And so now, that was 2015. Now, recently, on Netflix. Recently, Netflix has released a new series. I've seen both of these movies. The Marriage Story is again another story about divorce. This is the latest two movies. The top one is called The Wedding Story. It is also about a couple who are divorced. And it's this is very very horrible. Depiction of the brokenness and the hurt and all the bad things that are in divorce. It 里面告诉你说，在离婚的过程当中是怎样的破碎，怎样的痛苦，所有那些黑暗的事情。It's a very sweet movie because at the end, it, you know, they, it really shares about why they got married in the first place and how they should be reminded of why they were loved. They loved one another. It's a very sweet movie because at the end, it really shares about why they got married in the first place and how they should be reminded of why they were loved. They loved one another. It's a very sweet movie because at the end, it really shares about why they got married in the first place and how We we start to see that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We find that Hollywood is not just depicting divorce as something happy, something okay, something good anymore. We So I keep seeing these movies. I keep seeing Hollywood issue out all the, these these movies that are really、um, reinforcing values for family. 我看到好莱坞开始拍这些强调家庭观念的电影了。Now, granted, there's still a lot of junk out there. 当然，他还是拍了很多烂片。But I'm starting to see some people in Hollywood are starting to push the agenda for God's kingdom to come through. Yeah, 但是我看到在在好。在我在我们的这个电影行业开始有人将神的这种家庭观念开始往前推动。Are you are you excited for that? 弟兄姐妹们，你兴奋吗 ？Does that excite you? It excites me. 这让我很兴奋。Um, one more. This this these three. Uh, I was watching a TV show. 我最近在看一个呃电视里面的。Called Rhythm and Flow. 叫做节奏和律动。These three are three top. Artists, most influential,、uh, most fans, most people listening to them, artists in today's hip hop rap culture. These three are the most influential artists in today's hip hop rap culture. And、uh, I remember they they were going into because you know rap music is always in the nightclubs. Yeah, they were going into 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 the nightclubs. Yeah, they were going And I remember this one on the very right,、uh, the one wearing the gray white、uh, jacket. 
He was like, "Oh man, look at L.A. Look at all these beautiful women." 在在右边的这位，他经常的口头禅是说，哦，看洛杉矶那些漂亮的女人们。And then this one on the left, the one with the hat that says number three. Do you know why he wears that number three? 在左边的这位戴这个帽子，上面写着三。你知道为什么他的帽子上写着三吗 ？I think it's because he's talking. He's he's declaring the Trinity. 因为他是想说明说他相信有三位一体的神。Because even though he's a huge rapper that's influencing our world today, he's a Christian. 也就是说，左边的这位虽然说他是个很著名的饶舌歌手，但他是一个基督徒。And so they're driving this car, and the other gentleman, T.I., his name is T.I., says, "Oh, look at all these beautiful women." 有一天，他们两个人开车在路上的时候，右边这位又说道：“啊，看这些漂亮的女人们。” And then Chance, the rapper, the number three guy, he goes, he goes, "Oh no, I can't look at any of that. I'm married, man." 但是在左边的这位就说：“嘿，我不能看他们了，因为我已经结婚了。” He said that on public television. I don't know if you recognize how big that is. 他在公开的电视节目当中提到，我不知道你们有没有意识到这个有多么的有影响力。For a rap artist to say that. Because you can't be a rap artist for a long time without promoting sex. And then T.I. goes, "Man, are you blind?" He's like, "We let the blind man drive us." But he was saying, "No, I defend my marriage." 但是左边的这位却说不，我要保护我的家庭， Amen. 保护我的婚姻。And multiple times in the show, also the girl that was sitting there, she also defended multiple times in this show, defended her marriage and her family. 在中间的这位也在这个节目当中公开多次的啊、uh, 支持，并且保护着他的家庭。And that's huge because in the midst of this promiscuous, sexual, immoral culture of hip hop. These two influential people are saying on public television, "No, I'm defending my family." This is very important because in such a chaotic culture of hip-hop culture, there are such influential people who are willing to defend their families and 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 their families That she's a role model because she still has a lot of problems and issues. 中中间的这位女生，她叫 Cardi B， 她是现在啊，也也是一个当红明星。我不会说她是多多么的呃，就说行为有多么的令人呃敬佩。但是 ，But I want to tell you today that she, no matter whether we think she's a good role model or not, she is a role model for our nation and all around the world. 不论你怎么看她，她的确是当今以及世界的偶像。She has millions and millions of Fans. He has millions of fans. He has millions of fans. All kinds of young people are listening and watching her music. All kinds of young people are listening and watching her music. All kinds of young people are listening and watching her music. And this is what she said in a public interview. In a public interview, she said, "Marriage is such a crazy unity." 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 We need to be praying for these people. We need to be praying for these, 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 whatever it is, what it, these, these influential things that are in our world today. We need to be praying that Jesus would come, that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. We need to be praying that Jesus would come through. I went to、um, this conference called the Cry for Hollywood. 我去参加了一个特会，叫做为好莱坞呼求。Um, and I went to this conference, and there was this this prayer movement where they were we were up at Universal Studios, and they were saying we need to begin to pray and cry out to God for Hollywood. 我参加在这个呃大会上面，他们在那个环球影城里面说我们要为好莱坞来祷告。And、um, and the the reason they 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 felt that way was because there was a prophetic word that was released not too long before that about how Jesus was coming to Hollywood. Because in this conference, there was a prophetic word that was released not too long before that about how Jesus was coming to Hollywood. Because in this conference, there was a prophetic word that was released not too long before that about how Jesus was coming to Hollywood. Because in this conference, there was a prophetic word that was released not too long before that about how Jesus was coming to Hollywood. Because in this conference, there was a prophetic word that was released not too long before that about how Jesus was coming to Hollywood. 
。有一些人并不能理解说，说哦，说你是不是说耶稣第二次来的时候，他要那个驾着云从那个好莱坞下来呢 ？Well, as they started to pray and as they started to prophesy in parts together, they found out that what the prophetic word meant is that Jesus was going to start to come into Hollywood films and the influence that Hollywood has over this whole world. 就当他们更多的祷告寻求以后，他们发现这句话的意思其实就是说耶稣要来到他们嗯、呃、好莱坞这个影视行业，借由他们来影响这个世界。Because if you don't know Hollywood is influencing this whole world, the number one movies that everybody in this whole world is watching is from Hollywood. 如果你们不知道的话，其实每一年大家最多看的电影都是好莱坞拍的。Right? If you go to India, they're watching Hollywood movies. 即使你你去第三世界国家，比如说印度，他们也在看好莱坞电影。Right, they're not watching their Bollywood movies. They don't watch Bollywood movies. Hollywood movies are influencing the world, and so Jesus is saying, "How do I influence the world? I come through the industry that is having the greatest influence." Hollywood influences the world, so Jesus says, "How do I influence the world? I come through the industry that is having the greatest influence." I don't know about you, but I'm excited about that, and I'm like, "Yes, Jesus, I want to partner with that. I want to pray with that. So, Jesus, you can come through our movies." 我听到这个非常的兴奋，我说主，我要和你同工，我要看见你在我们的影视行业里面工作。So seven, there were these seven mountain revivalists, okay? These these people who believed in the seven mountain influence, who began to pray together,、uh, and 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 some of them were the ones that started this conference called the Cry. 所以这个呼求特会其实是有这个七座山头这个奉新加，也就是他们相信这个七座山头会。And they had this heart to say, you know what? I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with what God's doing. They said, I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with what God's doing. They said, I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner with heaven to pray for Hollywood. I'm going to partner And these guys believe in pow- the power of prayer so much that they have not stopped praying since 2012. Seven years, in this seven years, they have not stopped praying since 2012. Seven years, in this seven years, they have not stopped praying since 2012. Seven years, in this seven years, they have not stopped praying since 2012. Seven years, in this seven years, they have not stopped praying since 2012. Seven years, in this seven years, they have not stopped praying since 2012. Seven years, in this seven years, they have not stopped praying since 2012. Seven years, in this seven years, they have not stopped praying since 2012. Seven years, in this seven years, they have not stopped praying since 2012. Seven years, in this seven years, they have not stopped praying since 2012. But if we recognize the influence and the power and the authority that Jesus has given us, we would not stop praying just like these guys for seven years have been praying. But if we really know the power of prayer, the power of the Holy Spirit, you won't stop praying. Just like these people, for seven years, they've been praying. Praying for the same prayer. 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 So I don't know if you've been coming, if you've ever come to our prayer meeting on Tuesday. But if you've been before, it's a different prayer meeting today. And if you've never been, then you should come because we are praying for revival. Amen. 我不知道你有没有来参加过我们星期二晚上的祷告会。我要告诉你，如果你以前啊，如果你没有来参加过，我要告诉你，跟以前不一样。如果你现在来祷告的啊，如果你想来参加，我告诉你，我们正在为这个地方的复兴来祷告。We are praying for these things. 我们为着这些事情来祷告。And so, so I remember Jonathan, a friend of mine, Jonathan and I. He he was one of the people that started and was partnering in this conference called the Cry. 我记得我有一个朋友叫做那个 Jonathan， 他是呃这个呼呼求特会项目中中一员。And he had this、uh, he had this this prayer house called Radiance that was positioned right under the Hollywood sign. 他在那个好莱坞的那个标那个大的标志下面成立了一个祷告室，叫做光芒。Now it's very strategic because. He was not only not so he was not only able to see the Hollywood sign from his office, but also across the street, right across the street from his office, was the the headquarters for the number two biggest、um, pornography companies in America. Yeah, his this uh 祷告室的位置是非常特别的，不仅从他的办公室推开窗可以看到好莱坞标志，并且他马路的对过就是美国第二大色情杂志社皮条客的所在地。They said every time lunch hour came, they had to walk outside like this because. He said, 每天中午吃午餐的时候，大家都要把眼睛蒙着走出去。Because all the all the porn stars would come out for lunch too, dressed in like you know. 因为那个对过很多的色色情片明星都会出来吃午饭。But they began to pray. 但是他们开始为此祷告。For years. 好多年不断。For Hollywood. 
They prayed for the collapse of pornography. They were watching what heaven was doing and partnering with heaven. Check this out. Along those times, God told them, God told them, go and pray right outside the wall that, that is um, the border, the, the, fence, the, the fence wall of, uh, of the Playboy Mansion. Right, how many of us have heard of Playboy Mansion? Don't raise your hand. Right, um, but you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Playboy Mansion, number one, top most influential, the biggest company in the, across the whole world for pornography. God said, "Go pray at the wall because you're bringing, we're bringing down this 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 principality. We're gonna bring down their authority." And because of their prayer, a couple of years ago, like two or three years ago, I forget exactly how many, but two or three years ago or so, Hugh Hefner, the founder of pornography, finally died. Come on, we can pray people to death. <laughs> Come on, we can pray people to death. But he finally died, and right around when he died, right around when he died, I don't know if it was Hugh that did it or the CEO that came in afterwards, but porno the Playboy magazine stopped featuring naked women. Playboy magazine now it still has a lot of promiscuous women and dress really, you know, not not with a lot of clothes, so don't go looking. But but what I heard is that they the magazine now is business articles. Also around that same time, the Hustler magazine that was right across the street from Jonathan, they collapsed. They shut down. Mm -hmm. And now today it's a hotel. So come on, prayer works, amen? Hallelujah, we see God's prayer work. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When we partner with God, we see God do amazing things. Why did God do this? Why is God bringing family values back into movies, TV shows, and God bringing family values back into movies, TV shows, and entertainment and music? Why is God causing the collapse of pornography? Because how many of you know that pornography is the number one killer for marriages? Right? Pornography is the greatest weapon that the enemy has to destroy a marriage. To destroy a family. And so we see Jesus is restoring family in our world today. Amen. Come on. Amen. Yes. Come on. If you believe that, just give God a round of applause. Give Him glory. Hallelujah. Yes. So come on. Read. Let's go back to John chapter 15. John chapter 15. After all that, I hope you're excited. John chapter 15, verse 1. Let's read this together. It says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. And every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. And you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. So abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. And I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. And then later on, gets to that verse that we read in the beginning about love one another, right? About family love, right? 
So we put this all together for you. What is Jesus saying when he says, "Bear fruit"? A lot of people have different interpretation of this. It's very vague. Theologists don't have a, you know, exact answer. Most people say that it, when he says "bear fruit," he means getting people saved. You know, evangelism, getting souls saved for heaven. Which I agree and I believe is true, but I want to, I believe that it's even bigger than that. I believe when Jesus is saying you must bear fruit, he's saying that you must be influential. He's saying bring the kingdom influence. Because what happens when you get people saved? It's too shallow to just say it's about getting people saved. It's about getting people to have testimonies of what it's like to live in the kingdom of heaven. Do you get what I'm saying? It's 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 about it's about having the advancement, the influence. Because when I get saved, I have the kingdom of heaven in my life, and I'm bringing that forth into this world. 对，也就是说，要有属灵上的成长。当我信主以后，我有神国在我的里里面，我就在那生活当中把它。And when I bear another fruit and I get somebody else saved, it's another kingdom influence going into this world. 当我结果子，我是另外一个人信主的时候，他就继续的将这样一个天国的影响力传递下去。Amen. So Jesus is saying right here, he's saying every branch that does not have kingdom influence, he's going to take away from the vine. But every branch that is creating kingdom influence, he will prune them, help them, so that they can have greater and more influence in this world. Amen. Amen. But all those with kingdom influence, the branches, God will prune them, and make them more fruitful. So if our families are not bringing kingdom influence in this world, we need to be very careful. So if our families are not bringing kingdom influence in this world, we need to be very careful. Because Jesus is saying, "I'm going to take you out of the vine if that's the case." But He's saying, if you are bringing kingdom influence in this world, if you are if you are able to do what these this this young man you know with the three on his hat, if you're able to do what he's doing and bring kingdom influence in this world. By your family values. Through how your family lives, through your culture at home, and being able to bring that out into this world, then Jesus is saying, then, then, then I will give you even more influence. Jesus said, "I will give you even more influence." Because now we are partnering with heaven. Amen. Now we are starting to partner with heaven. So as a church. We have to recognize that the family mountain is our responsibility. We have to recognize that the family mountain is our responsibility. Amen. Amen. Because what is the church? 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 Because The church helps your family. So that we can have good families, good testimonies to bring to this world. Amen. Amen. So come on, say it with me. Say my family matters. 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 Do you believe it? You believe it? If you don't believe it, I don't hear. Nobody said yes. So say it again. My family matters. My family matters. Do you believe it? Yes. You believe it? There we go. <laughs> Your family matters. Yes. Your family is very important. Just because you're not a superstar doesn't mean it doesn't matter. Because you're getting out there, people are running into you. They're meeting you. They're getting to know you. And what are they getting to know? Are they seeing a testimony of the kingdom of heaven happening in your family? Amen. 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 Amen.
Real quick, let me just show you something very interesting. All right, Ezekiel. If you want, you can turn there, but you can read here. Ezekiel 36. It says at, at verse 1 through 2, And you, son of man, he's talking to Ezekiel, prophesy to the mountains of, of Israel and say, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because the enemy has said of you, Aha, the ancient heights have become our possession. Yes, amen. Listen to the scripture. God is upset. God is angry. Because in Israel, these, this mountain that he's talking about, he's saying, prophesy to the mountains, oh, to the mountains. That mountains is just like the seven mountains. Because Israel, why did everybody want to possess Israel and their heights and their mountains? If you study the Bible, it says because all the nations around them knew the economic power, the influence, the, the, the resources of Israel's mountains. Why is it to, to this day that people are still waging war to try to possess Israel? Because there is something about Israel's mountain, something about Israel's influence, something about being at the Sea of Galilee where it's a port for economic you know, growth. So God was saying, I'm so upset because you have lost possession, O people of Israel. You have lost possession of your influence. And, and your enemies, they have, they say, aha, aha. I have stolen your heights. I have stolen your influence. So Ezekiel 36 verse 6, the Lord says, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and my fury because you have become the shame of the nations. Come on, church. God is calling us. God is saying, go back, take back your influence. Yes, I gave you the influence to be in charge of dominion over this world, and you have given it over to the enemy. But praise God, because in Ezekiel 36, verse 8 through 9, he says, But O you mountains of Israel, you shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel. Meaning God is coming. God's hand is going to intervene. He's coming. So read on to that scripture, but, but let, me, let me finish up here, all right? I met a couple this last week in the uh, grocery store. And uh, I ran into them. It was so random. It was cool. We were just shopping, and I was pushing um, little Sadie, my baby, around. And uh, they just ran into me, and we just started talking. <coughs> and that's when I learned that they are um, trying to have babies. So I started to share with them my testimony. I started to share with them some of the testimonies from our church, like Paul and Rumi are now about to have a baby. I share with them their testimony. And so they were excited and they're like, wow, you are you are so they were they were like, wow, you you have so much knowledge and wisdom. And they were like, we just started going to church recently. And so I told him, I said, well, this is awesome that God, you know, let us encounter you. Can I pray for you? And so I, I began to pray for them and I prophesied to them this. I said, I see your family is like a Christmas light. God is going to bless your family. But it's like a Christmas light. Though the light is small, you might think your family is small. 
You might think your family, oh, you know, we're not a big deal. We don't own a big company. We're not big influential people. But your little light bulb. When you get lit up. And you're part of the strand of all these Christian families that are becoming influences for the kingdom of heaven. Then just like Christmas lights, when you just swing it around a tree or you decorate a room with it, it doesn't bring a lot of light like a big light bulb does. But that little bit of light, it still lights up the room. Amen. So no matter how dark this world is, your little family, your little light matters. And it's not just bringing light. It's not just bringing light. It's bringing warmth and joy and peace, just like Christmas lights. I want to read this excerpt from Joseph Prince's book. He said, we live in dangerous times, a time in which a person could be attacked by terrorists while watching a concert, a time during which an epidemic from one country could spread to another through a single traveler, a time when earthquakes, floods, and other calamities seem to be happening all too often, a time of violence, conflict, and wars. Yeah. Right? And we're seeing that. We're seeing, we're seeing that today. In, right? we, 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 our country is nearly about to... Go to war, possibly. That's crazy, right? Let me read on, okay? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we already know the world is going to get even darker. Because Isaiah 60, verse 2, tells us this. He says, The darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness into the people. But I have good news for you, my friend Joseph Princess. Good news of the promise of God's word that will fortify you and equip you during these times. Good news of his protection of his favor upon you. Good news that declares that you are in this world, but not of this world. Amen. Isaiah 60 verse 2 does not end with deep darkness. It doesn't end with just darkness. It goes on to declare this, but the Lord will rise, will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The darker the world becomes, the brighter you will shine. As gloom and despair cover the earth, your light will become increasingly radiant and brighter. Yeah. You will be his beacon of grace and glory in the midst of the deep darkness. The world will see you walking in the fullness of the Lord's blessings and favor and wonder how you and your household could be protected from destruction and chaos that is happening all around us. Amen. Yes. Sorry, give me five more minutes, okay? We're going to finish right now. We're going to finish. Last week, I know Pastor shared about how homosexuality, the LGBT issue that's going on in our world today is a brokenness that is not, is not in the heart of God. Worship team, you guys, you guys can get ready, but um, it's not in the heart of God, right? And, and that is so true. That's absolutely true. But can I say that even though it's not God's plan for family, even though it's a brokenness in fa God's family plan, but so is divorce. Right? Yes. So is divorce. And so, like divorce, it is a brokenness. And so, No matter what brokenness you have in your family. God has grace for you. God has grace for you. If you are willing to submit to Him. So I just want to say if there's anybody in here or even out there as we're you know, shooting these videos and going out into the world through streaming. If there's anybody that identifies with LGBT. 
Just because we believe that the stance of God is that homosexuality is not part of God's plan, it doesn't mean that God doesn't have grace for you and that you are not welcome in this church. I want to declare for our church that if you are homosexual, you are LGBT, you are welcome here. This is a safe place for you. We have to be. Because that is the heart of God. Amen. Amen. No matter what dark times we have today, God has good news for us. God has a hope. So I want to have you stand with me. Worship team, if we could just kind of get some music going on. Would you read with me? Pull out your Bibles, Isaiah 60. And we're going to declare this. Let's pray. Let's declare this over ourselves and our family. We're going to read verse 1 through 5. We're going to read verse 1 through 5. All right? Read with me, whether it's in Chinese or English, read out loud. Ready? Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from afar. Your daughters shall be nursed at your side. When you shall see and become radiant, and your heart shall swell with joy, because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. Amen. Declare with me one more time. Say, my family matters. My family matters. One more time. My family matters. My family matters. Come on, one more time. My family matters. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you. We bless every family in this church. We bless this house. We bless your house, oh God. We pray that you light us up to go out into this world. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. Amen.